Welcome everyone. My name is Colleen. Thank you for joining me for this short yin practice to support digestion. So our yin practice will be a functional practice. It just means that we're looking to stretch or compress a target area rather than trying to make our bodies all fit into the same shape. We're going to adjust the shape to fit our individual and unique bodies. So in traditional Chinese medicine, the earth element works with the stomach and the spleen, which help to process and digest not only the foods that we eat, but the experiences throughout our day, our emotions, um, things that we take in, whether it's on um, social media or the news, be able to process those and then in turn digest and release those. So I invite you here to bring in a block and a blanket or a towel for your practice. Those are optional. And when you're ready, we will get started in whatever seat feels supported for you. If you'd like to start on your back, you're welcome to do that as well. And if you'd like here, you can take your hands over the left side of your ribs. So I'm not going to mirror here. And this is where our stomach and our spleen reside. So just up under the left ribs there. And take a few deep breaths here. And then noticing how your breath is. Noticing if anything throughout your day has been stressful. Or worrisome. If there's something you just feel like it's bothered you and you're having a little trouble letting that go. Just notice that. Send a little bit of love there to your stomach and your spleen. Imagine you're giving them a little bit of a hug. And we'll take a few more breaths here, noticing if your mind wanders back to whatever you're stressed about or worried about. Let's call it back to this moment. This too is part of our practice. And then as you're ready, if you took your hands to your stomach, you can release the hands down. I invite you to join me on your back. If you'd like to do this twist seated, you're welcome to that as well. So as you make your way onto your back, if you're joining me there, take your time. You may draw your knees in towards your chest. You may keep the feet on the floor. So when we come into our twist, not only are we compressing our digestive organs, but we're going to be looking for a stretch through the outer leg line. So that might look like the knees in towards the chest, then dropping the knees over to the side. It might look like keeping the feet on the floor and letting the knees drop. Or maybe you take one knee over the other and come into your twist. And here you can take a block under the feet or the knees if you'd like. If you're seated, let's take your twist to one side, maybe adjusting how the legs are in relation to each other so that you get that stretch again through the outer leg line. We'll be targeting our gallbladder meridian. Help us process whatever stress that we're feeling. If there's too much stress in our life and that in turn is affecting our digestion. And 
I'm going to be here for a total of three minutes. It's probably about 50 or 60% of what you would normally do in an active practice. Just allow yourself to just be here. Feel that gentle tug on the connective tissue. Starting to allow the breath to soften. Letting go of whatever tension you're holding, your jaw, your forehead, your neck. Be here just a little bit longer. Maybe a few more rounds of breath here. And then as you're ready to release your twist, come out of the shape slowly, almost as if you were a sloth. You just don't want to move. Just really think of keeping all of that length in the connective tissue. If you cross your legs, feel free to uncross them. Take a breath or so here. And as you're ready, we're going to take the legs to the other side. Same target area on the opposite hip. And it doesn't mean it's going to be the same shape on the side. So again, maybe the feet stay on the floor and you just let your knees drop. Maybe take your knees in towards your chest and then let your knees drop. Maybe you take that one leg over. And if you're seated, you can change how the legs are in order to get the opposite hip stretch as you come into your twist. And you can find whatever shape you'd like here. And then maybe take that block under the knees, under the foot, for a little bit extra support. Feeling that gentle stretch. And we'll be here for three minutes. Noticing how your breath is. Saying if you're adding tension or trying to force your body into whatever shape it is. And finding that good stress instead. Allowing yourself to feel the sensation on the outer hip. And also allowing the rest of your body to soften. Have that space to be present. So often when we're stressed, we're doing things like eating on the go or eating while we're standing and rushing through our food, which then in turn includes stomach ache or indigestion. 
and giving yourself that permission to slow down. Just take that time to nourish yourself. Not only what you put into your body, also what you take in with your eyes and your ears. here just a little bit longer. Your body is giving you permission to go a little bit deeper into the shape. Feel free to go there. And as always, if you feel like you went too far, you do a little bit less. Your last few breaths here, soften even more. And as you're ready to release the shape, again, moving as slowly as possible, setting aside any props that you may have used, and we come into our first rebound shape. So if you're on your back, you might stay there and just extend your legs. You might choose to come on to your belly. If you're seated, you can join us there, or you might just extend your legs out. This rebound is a pause in between. Allow us to notice any shifts or changes in the physical body. Even mental or emotional bodies. Give yourself a few more nice deep breaths here. And then as you're ready, we're setting up for our next yin shape. So since I'm on my back, I'll show you the first option from your back. You may choose to stay on your back or to lift up a little bit higher toward the seat. So we're targeting the inner thigh or the inner leg line here. So one option here will be to stay again on your back. You can take your knees a little bit wider. Maybe have your hands on your legs to support getting that gentle tug through the inner leg line. That's one option if you feel supported there, then you can do the same thing from your seat. So that may look like this kind of action. We're just taking the legs a little bit wider, maybe gently pressing them with the elbows. So if you'd like, you can come a little bit higher. So your hips are lifted. And you can take a block if you want under your seat or a blanket roll under the heels. You're looking for that stretch through the inner leg line here. Whichever you choose, we'll be here for a couple of minutes. Targeting our spleen meridian. Meridian is responsible for the processing of what we put into our bodies as well as thoughts and emotions. Giving yourself that space to be with whatever you need to be with. Noticing if you're pushing away things that you don't want to deal with. Compassionate with yourself, whatever it is, taking a little bit longer here. We're about halfway there. Begin adjusting as you need to if you need to do less. One more. One 
amounts of breath. Once you're ready to release, you can make your way into your rebound again very slowly. It'll be another shorter rebound, so you might stay on your back if you're there, or seated if you're there. I'm going to make my way onto my belly. I'm moving as slow as you possibly can. It's almost like you don't want to move at all. I'm just pausing, noticing the space that you've created through that target area. Maybe there's some warmth or tingling of energy movement. Maybe the inner light is just stay a little bit longer. As you're ready, we're going to make our way slowly into our next shape. I'll show you the options we have here. So the first one will be to use your blanket. So if you have your blanket or your towel, you just create a, a roll. And how much you use for the roll is up to you. And I'm going to add a block here under my forehead as well. So I'm going to my knees closer together. I'm going to take the blanket so if I find my belly button. I'm about two inches out on each side. So that's stomach 25. So a great point for digestion. And that's the point we're trying to compress. So when I come down, I'm going to take that blanket up into that belly button area. And I'm going to come forward. So this is first option. You may choose, of course, to do <laughs> something different. Now I like to take the block under my forehead because this is a lot of compression. And you can adjust the blanket roll here. You can have your arms forward. You can have them by your sides, whatever is most comfortable for you here. So this is one option. There are other options to do it without the blanket. You can also come on to your belly here, make the blanket roll in that same area. So if it doesn't feel supportive on your knees or your ankles to be in that shape, you can do this. If you are pregnant, I would recommend skipping the roll completely. You just taking your knees a little bit wider and allow your belly to come between the legs there. If you prefer to do something like this seated, you may be in a space of drawing your knees in towards your chest or even doing similar on your back. You're also welcome to take a seat and bring your fingertips to the points again about two inches on each side of your belly button and just gently press in there. So finding the shape that works best for you. Now we're going to be here for about three minutes. So again, doing a little bit less to start with, knowing that, that that is going to be a lot to start. And allow yourself to soften into that. And if your body wants more later, you can take that. I'm noticing the breath here. By nature of this compression, our breath will be a little shorter, a little more shallow. And 
so that we can soften and not force the breath. Space for an even inhale and an even exhale. Adjusting not only the physical pace again, let me sink in, any of those thoughts, the ruminations, the overthinking, the need to worry. Anxiety. just a little bit longer knowing here that it is always an option to go a little deeper as needed and to give yourself permission to back off a little bit. And using that breath as a guide. rounds of breath. If you're ready, we're going to make our way into our rebound shape. Whatever that looks like for you. You may come onto your belly, onto your back, and just to see if your legs extended. Moving as slow as possible, making sure we're not creating that boomerang effect in our tissues. pausing for a moment if you feel a lot of that blood rushing into the area that we're working with. Just a little bit longer. As you're ready. Things slowly. <laughs> if you feel like you need you want to stay in your rebound shape. Just taking your time, making your way towards our next in shape. So I'll make my way onto my belly. 
invite you here to first option maybe just take your palms on top of each other or your wrists forearms you might even cross at the elbows so we're looking for a stretch through this upper inner arm area so if you are preferring a seat here you're welcome to that you can just gently cross one arm over until you feel that stretch you may also take a block here or a blanket under your forehead you can be here for a couple of minutes and when we're getting that stretch through the area we just compress the stomach where it is we're also getting a stretch through the large intestine line, which is that upper inner arm, as well as a little bit of compression through that area on the lower arm. The large intestine is responsible for that process of letting go, releasing waste, not just physical, but emotional. Just like with stress, grief, which is housed in our lungs, in our large intestines. When we have too much grief, it will affect our appetite and how we eat. And here, just a few more rounds of breath. you're ready you just slowly just touch a release noticing any desire to maybe leave to release because maybe we did a little too much i'm just going to take myself into a short way down here taking my head down and arms by the side you do that from your seat And just soften as you go. There's a different rebound shape you prefer. You're welcome to that. And I'm just using the block under my head so that you'll be able to hear me a little better. And as you're ready, we'll set it for the other side. The knowing on this side may be different. I'm going to take the opposite arm on top here. And we're going to be taking the opposite arm across the body if you're seated. Maybe you're adjusting how the arms are crossed especially if you're feeling too much compression in the lower arm or shoulder you're really not feeling the stretch in the same place knowing that your body is your fingertips If you're feeling fidgety, you're able to stay still as well. If your thoughts are going round and round. Give yourself permission to do that.
releasing that breath as it moves in. As it moves out, a gentle expansion of the chest and the belly. Ready, we're going to slowly start to come out of this shape. Moving as slow as you possibly can. Don't see any rush out. And setting up for your rebound. And again, you might stay on the belly. Maybe your arms are by your side. Maybe come onto your back. When you just see it, noticing any shifts or changes, not just in the physical body, the mind, the emotional body. A little bit more. You're ready, I invite you to make your way into your final resting space. Whatever that looks like for you. On your back, feel free to stay there. You might take a blanket roll here under your knees. Wherever you are, just allow yourself to arrive. Letting each breath space for nourishment. Give yourself that space. Space between the breaths. Space between the thoughts.
I invite you to bring your awareness back to this moment. Back to this breath. You may notice the rise and the fall of your chest and your belly. I invite you to make small movements, slowly beginning to wake the body up. In your time, you might roll to one side, maybe pausing for breath. We're slowly making your way up to your seat, bringing some of your final rest with you. If you arrive, you might take one or both hands over the area of your stomach there on the left side again, under your ribs. Sending your stomach, your spleen, make it loud. And taking your breath in, and slowly Letting it go. I want you to bring the palms of your hands together in front of your heart. Just bowing your head slightly. Thank you so much for your practice. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again here. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe to this channel for any future videos or to watch this video again. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you.